Hey guys, Weekend Motor here with a quick video. Check out the description for a download link to Mega for a Weekend Motor tested version uh, here of the new 17502 dashboard update files. So what you should see in the screen in front of you here is this Weekend Motor tested 17502 zip. Uh, if you follow the link in the description, this is the file you'll download. It's right at 100 megabytes. The reason for that is inside this file we have uh, a couple of things. Primarily what you care about is XE build GUI uh, for 17502. Inside this folder here is the full-blown XE build GUI uh, with the 17502 capable version. Uh, I also went ahead and took those files and made a JRunner capable version. So inside the JRunner folder you will find a JRunner install if you're more comfortable using that that is set up and configured using 17502. I have personally built the image using both this XE build version and this JRunner version, tested them on my console, and they work. Um, the console boots as expected, normally all that sort of stuff. Also, just for good measure, I threw in a copy of Simple NAND Flasher, so if you have a Corona console with a four gig NAND, you can use that here. Uh, and I've also got uh, Dash Launch 315 XEX, uh, which will allow you to run the Dash Launch GUI. Now, this XE build will actually install Dash Launch 3.16 in the NAND, but the editing GUI, which is what you launch with this XEX, for some reason 315 doesn't have the kernel check in it, so it will operate without throwing up the warning. So use this one, uh, and it'll work good. So uh, again, check out the download link in the description. These are tested and used by me, so feel free if you've been a little sketched out that these should be good links and, and functional for you. Uh, good luck, everybody.